Hey guys, welcome back to Machine Quilting Monday. I'm working on the More Than Four Quilt Along sample quilt top. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be a quilt along for Quilts for Cure in a couple of months, um, but I need to get it quilted and bound before I can really like, launch that. So I've been staring at this quilt top for probably almost a month now. I've even had it basted before I knew I was getting Leopold and just kept looking at it not knowing what I wanted to do. So finally yesterday, I decided that it was time to let my action cure my fear, which that's a phrase that I first heard um, from Angelia Trinidad over at Passion Planner. Um, love Passion Planner, by the way, little shout out. Um, but I have found it to be incredibly true that if there's something that's making me nervous or that I'm unsure about, sometimes it's best just to jump in and start working on it and figure it out as I go. And that's what I've ended up having to do with this quilt top and part of my concern with this quilt top, and I'll put photos of this in the blog post, um, but I really wanted to do what Lynn Reinhardt over at the Stitch TV show calls achievable custom quilting. So that means that I'm doing something that's more than an all over design. I'm not just doing a meander or a loopy meander or swirls, but it's not very over quilted or super precise. I want this to be a cuddly quilt, at least to some extent. Um, and these are chopsticks blocks and so or sometimes it's called like improv X's or something like that and I wanted to do custom quilting in each section around the X but with traveling in between so what it, this has turned into in addition to actually getting this quilt top finished is I'm practicing on my long arm how to travel from one section to another by stitching in the ditch and in some areas like this up here, which like I said, I know that the camera is a little far back for y'all to see really well, um, but I did a pretty good job and it looks, you know, okay. And then there's areas like over here where I'm like super wobbly and all over the place. Um, but I, I share that with you, one, because I'm hoping at some point I'll have some tips uh, to help you guys learn how to maneuver around a quilt. And this would work on a domestic machine as well as on a long arm. It's just a way to prevent having to break thread. Um, so like I said, hoping to have tips at some point, but right now, um, I just love sharing with you guys what I'm continuing to learn and work on. So I'm going to keep working down this pass and just let y'all kind of sit in on it a little bit. 